Hi, I'm Joe Washington. Welcome to IBM TV. This time, we've got big news about IBM's vision for the new Enterprise Data Center. As part of this vision, we'll look at the new IBM System Z10 Enterprise class, or EC Mainframe. And there's new software for System Z. We'll give you an update on rational and Tivoli offerings, as well as business intelligence software from the IBM acquisition of Cognos. And there's more, a lot more. So let's get started. The data centers we rely on to secure our financial transactions, safeguard our health care records, and process our tax returns are under tremendous pressure. Data is expanding at ever-increasing volumes, and more data means bigger data centers that lead to inefficient energy use and server sprawl. Too big, too complex, too inefficient, and too costly to manage, and not flexible and scalable enough to handle increasing workloads and support changing business needs. IBM has introduced a new strategy that can help. The new Enterprise Data Center. IBM has a blueprint that can help us simplify, to reduce costs for infrastructure, operations, and management. Share resources for rapid deployment of infrastructure at any scale. And respond to new business service requests across the company and beyond. IBM's vision for the new Enterprise Data Center provides you with a blueprint to develop a more efficient IT service delivery model and you can learn more about it with IBM TV. Watch the new video and access resources and information that will help you get started today. A cornerstone of IBM's new Enterprise Data Center vision is the recently announced IBM System Z10 Enterprise Class Mainframe. The new Z10EC delivers a huge leap in capacity for today's data centers. It provides the equivalent of nearly 1,500 x86 servers with up to an 85% smaller footprint and up to 85% less energy costs. And the new servers accompanied by new service and storage offerings designed to help you get the most from the Z10EC. The new computer, which is called the Z10, is part of a $1.5 billion investment, and it brings dramatic levels of power and efficiency to the data center. IBM is bringing an interesting, exciting announcement in the form of Z10 to the marketplace. It's addressed customers' biggest issues around energy, power consumption, server sprawl, and of course, the rising cost of managing systems. Learn more about the Z10EC on IBM TV. Watch the announcement video and see some quick demos that highlight technology and business benefits. And a new series of videos explores key mainframe topics like mainframe cost misconceptions and server proliferation and utilization. IBM has also announced new software for System Z. IBM Tivoli Service Management Center for System Z automates the management of complex IT disciplines and allows policy-driven processes such as incident and problem management to be seamlessly managed from either mainframe or distributed computing environments. IBM Rational Software that helps modernize System Z applications to support critical efforts like service-oriented architecture and improve IT responsiveness to business needs was also introduced. IBM Rational helped our team to modernise from a traditional banking system into an easy to use online banking system which benefits our customers. We've used uh, Rational products for a long time now, very important to us, it simplifies the development life cycle, it allows us to get products out to the market more quickly than we would if we didn't have this product, very important to us. A new video shows you how Cooperative Financial Services, a company that dates back to the 19th century, modernized with IBM Rational Solutions. Check it out. And don't miss two new demos about the benefits of Rational Enterprise Modernization Solutions on IBM TV. And be sure to watch new videos that will give you an update on Rational and Jazz.net. The Jazz Collaborative Development Community has been open to everybody. Rational experts Scott Hebner and Lee Knackman will give you more details. And remember, the IBM Rational Software Development Conference is coming up in June. Use the link from IBM TV to register. In January, IBM completed its acquisition of Cognos. It was a pretty big deal. After all, Cognos is a leading provider of business intelligence and performance management solutions and serves more than 25,000 customers. It didn't take long for the two companies to start introducing powerful, integrated solutions. 
So one of the huge benefits of this acquisition in particular is that Cognos and IBM have been partnering for over 15 years and already have several joint existing solutions out in the market today, which means while other companies are out there focused on rationalizing their different BI products and integrating their different portfolios, we can be focused on innovating further in the marketplace. IBM and Cognos have already introduced 10 new and enhanced IBM solutions for banking, retail, healthcare, government, life sciences, and manufacturing, six pre-integrated IBM Cognos offerings, and information on demand infrastructure services to help you plan, design, and deploy a resilient enterprise data storage and content management environment. IBM has also announced new information on demand software for System Z, including IBM Cognos 8 Business Intelligence. It combines the targeted information delivery and analysis of IBM Cognos solutions with the power and reliability of System Z to help you use your data for competitive advantage, improve decision making, and optimize business performance. Speaking of information on demand, we've added a new events category to IBM TV with videos from the 2007 IBM Information on Demand Global Conference. There are over 30 videos covering everything from keynotes and executive insights to conference entertainment and technical skills. You'll feel like you're there. And you should be there in 2008. Use the link from IBM TV to register for the Information on Demand 2008 event. And that's not the only event you can experience through IBM TV. Link to a webcast of the Lotusphere 2008 opening session and check out some demos that cover topics like IBM Lotus Same Time, Lotus Notes, and Lotus Connections. And don't miss a new video about the IBM Lotus Open Collaboration Client Solution. It's the desktop of the future based on open standards. The video focuses on the unique advantages of running the Open Collaboration Client Solution on Linux. You don't want to miss it. Well, that's all for now. I'm Joe Washington, and I'll see you next time on IBM TV.